previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should've put you out of your misery right then. I look at Kenny now. He just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. Here. Start heading south. Don't let them drag you down with them. Drink an hour of the fucking shooting. I'll do it to steal. Drop it. Drop it. Beat the guy. Fuck up. Don't move. I see it. Don't move. Everybody be cool.
It's safe to come out. Here, I go. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Are you... Are you okay? I, I think so. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. I didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. Saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but I feel wrong. You sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah, yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. Over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He's just a scared kid, man. Kenny, his, his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can thank you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us? Huh? I... I don't want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got some. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts were telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good.
because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. Forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arms. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through... He's lost. It's changing him. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slowpokes! Need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need him. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male shit. And it all ends the same way. Don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes, I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? Sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Only my friends are dead. No 
good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Mike, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? He didn't die in vain. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. It's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, only mostly. Guess how far this place is. I have to get off this lake sooner than later. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. I don't know if he'll let me. He may not, but we ought to try. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ proves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. I told her I'm fine. Bonnie sent me over. She thinks your bandages need changing. Yeah. She tried to do it earlier. I see she said to to do a lot of things. Make sure. 
sure you're safe. Let's head out. Is that it? I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit! Is that it? Thought you said it was a house! Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit! Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You're a natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <sighs> Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. I'd have liked to go to college. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. Saving it for a special occasion. 
call it being your birthday and all. Figure, this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, time. wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Sure? Yeah. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. <sighs> Let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. The good thing. You saved our ass. I know. Stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Maybe she came back for you. Me. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. As you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the way. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there. Oh, here. Maybe a swig of this will change the minds. TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. People too. We all have.
Leave me alone, please. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. It just might burn a little. The feel it in your nose. No, thanks. I'm trying to cut back. You can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive, though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. It was not sugar candy. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up. They'd get mad at me all over again. Problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. I grounded for six months. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Serena was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm 
sorry. You did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. Oh, it's true. my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. A lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. Not giving anything for one more second with them. Play catch with Doug. Touch Kacha's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. Too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Seems secure enough. I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. That's drunk. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing.
You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Behind you! What the fuck? That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built! We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? We should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. I'm saying an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first. Since he's so confident. It's okay. Okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. It's only two of them. Should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out, and we'll be fine. Clem? 
This is too dangerous. He's gonna yeah, die. I just need some more time. You guys gotta hurry. You should fall through. I can figure Don't it do out. Do it, Clint. Clementine, stop. Clementine. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? I thought I had matches.
take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. Be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it. I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we could get one fixed up. We'll be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane. Learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road, really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here, other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. We should go back south. We'll cross those mountains again? We'll run out of gas and die picking our way down. There's nothing back there for us. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. Not. <laughs> 
damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving it with that girl. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Wish they'd finished this place. Looks broken. Busted. Looks like it's about to collapse. Want one? No, thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do. Go on. You can be honest. All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I don't really know what I want. Maybe I ought to start thinking about it. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, man. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too, once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. 
One day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny is a carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near the sea. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. better talk some sense into him. 
for his sake. than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. That's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Okay. 
Penny? Damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please.
try to get some sleep. Thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. We're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, you still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I could... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, Kenny loves Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. He can't talk back to you. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! you fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem. You all right? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. 
Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. We got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right? If you're going, go now. Can we? do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. Hurry! Get out! Hurry! Jane! 
kid. Jane, where is he?
understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. We're all safe. We're going to be okay. I, I can't believe he's alive. Be safe, Clem. It was a stupid plan. I should never have you. But I thought it was the only way he would see me. Oh my god. Penny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. Can't see much from here. Come on. I'm glad you didn't have to see that happen. I've seen worse. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. They don't look armed. This your place? It's big. Quiet. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Step away from the fence, please. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Ah, uh, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please, don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. We really want to go through this again. Please. We'll die out here. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. 
You won't regret it. I promise you. You have to let us in. Leave. What? You heard me. Now, please, don't do this. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... what if we're dangerous? What if I am? Come on, honey. Let's go. Thanks for doing that. After looking at that kid, I wasn't sure if I could. But we had to. We have to look out for ourselves now. Sometimes, you have to hurt someone else to protect the people you care about. A friend told me that once. They might come back. Then we'll be ready. Thank mm -hmm. you.